All right, okay. Bosh, we're in. Welcome, Welcome. back. Hello, energy, Welcome. hype, and excitement. <laughs> All three people. All three. Um, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to episode two of the Lay and Play pod stroke webcasting. Baines has kindly <laughs> given it a name, Get the Lowdown, yeah. which kind of works too well. It almost borders on professional sounding. That's what happens when the guy editing this nonsense is doing a dry January, but apparently not. Or are you, are you being coy about I, it? I, I failed today. I've had a, a long day, so I, I've decided to go for a beer tonight. So you could have said that was a Coke float. Yeah, no, it's a stout. And you're only failing yourself. You're only failing yourself back there. The fans don't mind. It's very true. It's very sure. true. Uh, anyway, <sighs> thank you for tuning in again. It's important to point out, so I just wanted to say that this isn't live anywhere uh, on any platform. Uh, but that being said, we, we're thinking of trying to make it so it does go out live, so everybody can have a beer with us. I think that's a good idea, really. Yeah, absolutely. Community. You know what I mean? So so everybody, it goes on, on somewhere live on some platform. Yeah. So on a Friday night like this, people can crack up on a cold snack and, 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 and get involved. And if you want to text me and I can read out what's being said at that time yeah i think it'll develop into that yeah maybe in the future what we could do is like open up um just like a huge it might be absolute carnage but do you know when you can have like 30 people on yeah yeah and like a forum like, like a live forum an online car show like that. Mm. i just i i like the idea of an edited final copy mm -hmm. do you know what i mean so so it's more or less untouched but with a pinch of Baines's creativity almost like a British salt bay littering a poised palm full of pie crumbs into a bowl of hot steaming nonsense just like Pete's tedious links yes okay <laughs> so we start today yep. now this is serious now Ready? and hopefully by the time Baines has done the editing there'll be some somewhere where he's done it they're cool but we've actually got a sponsor unbelievably two episodes in uh, we have got at least one regular view, which will be my mum, which is embarrassing <laughs> considering what I asked you last week. Um, but we've managed to secure a contract with PCDBolts.com. So PCDBolts.com is a one-stop shop for all your retro car wheel fitment needs. Zach at PCD stocks a multitude of wheel nuts and bolts, locking nuts, spacers, spigot rings and everything else that you need uh everything else that you can imagine to get your ride rolling correct on whatever size and style wheels you desire does nice. your wagon wobble suffering from rim rug rubbage can't find the stud pattern to match your new camper van head over to pcdbolts.com and use the promo code lay and play 10 for 10 percent off oh love, love a discount mate i love a discount um, um, also they tie in well if uh, i think um as uh what's his name Pat just needed to buy some spaces. He could have bought them from. There you go. That's what we're here for. The interconnected. Already, already needed. Zach, Zach for the for the watchers. Zach's the guy who owns the 1970 Impala that I've been building. Yep. So he's new to the community. He wants to import. He wants to. He's keen as mustard, man. He's fucking on it all the time. He's trying to figure out ways that he can help low riding to get involved. So this is. This is his first little crack at what can he do to help out. And I built Gray's car, that needed spaces. I could have got them from him. Yeah. Simple as that. There you go. He's already yeah. coming. Like it. Cool. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you for the sponsor. Cool. Thank you for the support. It will go back yeah. to whatever we do, whether it be promo, banners, advertising, all that sort of stuff. So any anything helps really. So thank you for being the first to jump on. Right. Wonderful. So it's question time, Baines. Yep. Are you happy to continue with the only non-lowrider question thing? Oh, yeah. Hit me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Got a way to get a copyright okay. strike for that. <laughs> Sorry, that was correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> if you're wondering what I'm right. doing, by the way, my dog's just at my feet and he, he's needy that's okay right. eyes down looking so Baines yes have you ever played hide the sausage <laughs> only with the dog and he de oh wait that sounds even worse oh no it's just yes or no uh no that's two, 
Yes. You've gone 50 50. Is can yes or no? Can I phone a friend? You can phone me and I'll tell you what to say. <laughs> uh, no. No, I haven't. No. No, lock it in. Correct answer. What do I win? No, Lumbanes. You win not having to answer the next <laughs> question. <laughs> so moving on. I'm not even going to tell you what they were. Good. <laughs> Good, go. Uh, Leave it. Hey. Leave that chocolate alone, kid. Just, just, I, I don't know if you know, that since the last episode, there's mm. been a surge of interest in B-Days. I don't know why, but it's the trending on all platforms. Um, I looked it up before I started, and it's a thing. So, nice. right, okay. I think we started. You know, uh, a new feature, something serious, lowrider related, was lowrider news. Yes. Yeah? And I believe that you brought something to the table, basically. Well, Peter, since the last podcast, I've been keeping a very loose note of things which have been occurring in a lowrider scene pretty much within the UK, not so much Europe. But we shall drop in with Baines' 60 second lowrider news. But- Oh, here we go. So, <laughs> if you stop the music, I'll put some. I don't know how to. Oh, shit. It'll stop. It'll stop in a minute. Right. There you go. Good. Yeah, so, go on. we'll put some backing news on. Um, so, in this week's 60 second low rider news, first story Roy and Rich take a road trip after the disappointing scenario with Roy's chassis on his S10 yeah. which happened to be rotten it looks like they found a buyer delivered it to said buyer and also on the way back picked up a Nissan King cab pickup truck which potentially yeah. will go down the truck bed dancer route don't know yeah I imagine so we'll that's uh, a whole that's one of them silver silver lining situations man he bought that truck yeah, built it. It was dope. Found out that it's fucked. Yeah, and instead um, of just like rolling over and thinking that's the end of that, they've he's he's found a source of another base, and he's not letting it get him down, man. No, he's not. Um, this was supposed to be sixty second news, but it's it's definitely going to run over. No, it's going to be like sixty minutes. <laughs> Phil's content. Um, oh, second sure. up. Next story, um, father and son team, Adam and Josh Giblin, take ownership of a 79 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Potentially the first big American lowrider for them. Have they had one before? Or is it just the... No, they, they, had, the, they had a Datsun years ago, and then they've had a Datsun again now. It's like they've, they've revisited their lowrider past. Well, big congrats to them for getting into the big body American stuff. That's going to be a gateway to a whole new world of expense for them, no doubt. Um, the other one, the infamous lowrider for sale, actually, is the infamous OG Soviet, the Larder. Um, you may have seen this in some of our older content, but there's um, a guy called Bobby Sharma who's got a lowrider Larder, probably the only one in Europe, maybe, who knows? And that is, I think there's a lot of Eastern European things going on over in Russia and stuff, but I don't know about that, that year Larder, I'm not sure. Yeah, but that's for sale, so we'll put a link in the description or something like that. Get on it. Um, other news, Pete's El Camino. That's you, Pete. The chassis is yeah, so, back on the body. Or has it? Yeah, it was only a temporary thing, and I'll probably yeah. do a video about it soon. But the El Camino is now rolling again. The body and the chassis are one again. Uh, we almost had a disaster. Sol kept on saying to me, Dad, uh, do you think we should check the axle stands that are holding the back up? That had not even... They had been there for, what, two, three years, and I'd never even bothered to check on them. So as we were jacking the front up and it was starting to lean on the back and I was like, just a little bit more, just a little bit more. And then bosh, it all kind of fell over. Luckily, the chassis was in such a way underneath that when it fell, it landed on a wheel and a body mount and it was just fucking... I'll send Bane some pictures and he'll probably edit into this video. Any damage or is it all good? I don't think so. Nothing obvious, nothing uh, on the outside. If there is any, it'll be like in the floors and stuff that I can just yeah. bash out. I haven't painted the floors yet, so it's all good. Great. Just on, on Lowrider news as well, uh, uh, Jamie Ray's 300C Coupe, um, which is like... Uh, so the two Lowriders that have come up for sale recently, the Larder and Jamie Ray's Mercedes, are sort of like uh, iconic cars because 
they, they, they were around at a time when low riding was quite popular and they hit like the big shows like the Bug Jams and that kind of stuff. Um, so they're both well worth looking into. Mm-hmm. And if you want to go and see them, the, the place to be on social media for like community stuff, the replacement forum, is a page called UK Low Riders, not UK Low Riding, which is the page that we run, but UK Low Riders, which is run by a guy called John. Uh, and it's just like a community page so you can post up for sale ads. If you wanted to buy a low rider or if you wanted to put a wanted ad, wanted ad or parts or wire wheels, that's the place where you can post um, and, and ask whatever you want. So uh, a little bit of uh, useful information there. Uh, so yeah, that was good. That wasn't shit, Baines. That was actually quite good. We've actually I think got that'll two more, we had two more stories, but we're well past 60 seconds. But the other one was Limit Fabrications have been uh, oh. busy working on Nick Singh Sahota's 63 Impala chassis reinforcement. He's actually built a new set of arms for it, test fitted, looks pretty good on the pictures. Filmed by the BBC, I believe. The BBC uh, yeah. we are filming a pilot YouTube series or documentary. Not quite sure what that is, but anyway, they've filmed two of the guys now in the scene. They've filmed Forge from Flake and also uh, Limit Fabrication. So looking forward to seeing what they do with that. And the final one, the salty roads in the UK are... Yeah, no big time. Anything cruising-wise, so... That concludes. Well, shout out to uh, shout out to jo- Dave the Gent down in South Wales, who's got his white uh, Lincoln Town car, the same turtle shape as yours. He's he is out there rolling um, yeah. on fresh China wire wheels that I supplied, and within about a day of him taking it out, they started to turn. He's That's gonna have so- them twiglet spokes. And twiglet spokes uh, before long, man. But that's 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 just how it is. It's Say like rolling and winning in the UK. Terrible. Yep. Yeah, but other than that, that concludes uh, the news since the last. Podcast. No ride and news. Yeah, Ooh. man. Sick. I love that. Love it. Cool. Up, up, up. Love it. I don't know how to stop these things when the I do it. Can I? Oh, it's done it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Um, so Baines, yes. remember if you will, two weeks ago, we reminisce about times gone by. Yeah. When I was a slim, handsome chap and you were a see-through ginger, ne- ginger lemonade popsicle of a man and we got up to dumb shit in our cars and we asked thousands and thousands of listeners of this podcast thing or watchers or whatever they are, if they wanted to read out, if they wanted us to read out their stories, well, fuck me, Baines, if someone from fucking Texas got in touch Texas which is America uh, with a smashing little ditty for us to share yeah so Sweet. Texas Baines officially this worldwide. podcast is worldwide yeah you can't argue that so this is courtesy of MTL 0727 which is a catchy name on Instagram he sent this message so a quick story about be- I'm not going to put an accent on because uh, that <laughs> might be considered don't. Yeah, let's not do that. I don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> Go for it. Quick story about being a hooligan on the streets. Just for context, I'm from Texas. I live in San Antonio. This is about this is about an 07 Chevrolet Silverado that I had on banks. Coming into San Antonio on Highway 90 eastbound, picture a four-lane highway all going in the same direction with a bunch of asshole drivers. That's assholes, by the way, in English. You can easily be going 75 miles per hour and get past like you're sitting still. And this is in the city of San Antonio. It's already sunset and I'm in the middle lane keeping up with traffic, but this dickhead behind me is tailgating me. There are other lanes available for him, her, it to get around me. I'm a man of patience, but the person behind me was really testing it. So I did what any person with adjustable suspension would have done. I locked up the front uh, and rear and then dumped the ass and commenced to raise sparks from the frame and flipped over tow hitch ball. I showered three lanes of traffic um, and the vehicle behind me got a front row seat to the light show and then they backed <laughs> off. In a brief second, traffic came to a crawl and I dipped out. It was picture perf- picture perfect moment. No cops were involved. The tailgater got what was coming to him and her. Good lad. Now, That's the best. Lovely one. story. Thanks for sending that in. Uh, now, if you've ever run a scrape block, uh, or in this case, a flipped over tow bar, which is a brilliant idea. That is. And I know Baines has in the old Lincoln. You had the old scrape block. Yeah. Was it a block on you? Uh, I, had no two, I had two on the two. little L bracket. Flexing. Oh, uh, 
So you'll know just how insane having the ability to shower sparks out the back of your car is. Uh, and I've got a little story now I'm going to bore everybody with. Uh, my most memorable experience was in the Black 190E. So from last week's little story, I had a, a titanium scrape block mounted to the tow bar. I'd never really used it because I was a bit scared, if I'm honest, um, because the car was a piece of shit. And I thought, as soon as that, as soon as I hit that scrape block, the back end of the car is going to fall off or something. <laughs> Rip it off. Um, but one night after hanging out in a local pub with some mates, I, I got enough confidence and I was in the mood for driving. And I just thought I'd give it a shot. So I headed down to Crew Town Centre. And Crew, for those not familiar, is a railway town in the northwest of England. So imagine terraced houses built right on the curb. You can literally watch the dude's TV from across the street. Houses are that close together. And the road is so narrow. And there I was, the top end of Eddleston Road, Baines will know it. There's groups of people minding their own business, heading home from the pub. And all of a sudden, pow, out of the darkness, a rusty black D-red shitbox of a Mercedes dumps its ass on the floor and proceeds to light the entire street up with bright white sparks. <laughs> and so bright, <laughs> it was so bright, it could have been daytime. I shit my pants, locked up the rear and bounced out and then never did it again. Never did it again. <laughs> That was your first experience. That was my first, That's amazing. the last great block experience, and it, it was, it was, it was bright. It was like I was trying to think of the film. Um, what's the film? Tomb Raider? No, Tomb Thingy <laughs> in the Tomb. The guy with the 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 guy. What's his name? Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones, the one with no. the Nazis, where they open that chest and it's like, Wah! they all turn into dust. That's what, that's what I, I was like, fuck, I've just fucking, <laughs> if the police were around, I'm in trouble. And I was just like zipped out and I never did it again. <laughs> that's amazing. So, um, Baines, at this point, I was going to do interview questions, but we didn't get one set up. Well, I'm pretty confident that there's a few people who want to come on for next week or it's going to do yeah. the fortnightly I think mm -hmm. so um, and that's quite exciting I'd like to like hammer somebody with questions and get their stories Absolutely. but as we can yes I'm going to do I'm going to do pointy's uh, pointy uh, yeah pointy's questions is cancelled where is the little bastard there he is so pointy's questions are, are cancelled right so you know I did that embarrassing rap last week well yes. pointy not me. Pointy has uh, has written a poem, and it's put shit. Some, okay. Let's put some emotional music on. It's. <laughs> That's not How do I stop it? That's not emotional. No, but anyway, I'll, yeah, Pointy's going to do a poem. Um. I, I'm going to go. I'm going to read it for him because I've. No, nah, I don't know. How I'm going to do this. I should have do this. I want it to be pointy, not me. Is that is that okay? Yeah. Uh, higher, higher, higher. Yeah. Should I good. do a voice? Should I do a voice for pointy so it doesn't sound like me? Yeah, absolutely. Oh sure. Like, like oh, hello. <laughs> no, that sounds so bad. <laughs> you got an idea for for a voice? <laughs> hello. Hello. Pointy. Speaking of this is a comedy finger. Low riding in the UK by pointy. There's piss on my tyres and rust on my wires. We can't go to meet the salt on the streets. Now I've got it up because the veins burn out my dump. Cylinders leaking, motors are reeking, and fuel prices are soaring. And this podcast is boring. My name is Pointy, I'm a foam finger. This is shit. <laughs> So yeah, that was pointy, everybody. He's, uh, I can only imagine that he'll get better with time. So, I don't know. You've set the bar pretty high, there, mate. Thank you, pointy. Thank you. Well, you see, he did the rap happened last week, and that was pretty embarrassing. That that um, was good. Pointy, I enjoyed the rap. Pointy thought so. You didn't enjoy pointy's poem. <laughs> it was different. I didn't say I didn't enjoy. Well, he's, he's just starting out, isn't he? These you gotta start somewhere. I want you to do a rap or at least some sort of song. I'm gonna do a song, I think, like an R and B number. Oh. Like a like a bit of a love song. Oh 
Where's me mic? Uh, yeah, you know. <laughs> Some kind of love, love number. Um, so yeah, Baines, have you got anything to? Uh, what sort of time are we on? We must be getting somewhere now, are we? I don't. It don't it, tell me it's like five minutes. It doesn't. Don't tell me it's five. I minutes. didn't start my recorder, so I don't actually know how long we've been going. But you know. Please tell me this has been recording, though. Yeah, it's recording. It's recording. Yeah, it's recording, but you don't know how long it's been. All right, well, we'll just wing it. Wing it. So, have you got anything to add before we depart? Um, I was going to ask you if you've done a song, but I'm guessing that you haven't. No, I've, I've been driving track. most of today. Um, I, I'm not going to make one up, but I will do one next next time. Um, yes, Baines. Uh, it doesn't have to be very good. As embarrassing as it, as it will be, I, I well, will do it, but... Um, Me and Pointy have embarrassed ourselves beyond possible proportions, so correct. you'll yeah. be all right, I'm sure. Oh, for anyone still watching after uh, Pointy's love poem, um, we will be <laughs> filming some fresh content tomorrow, I'm right, I'm saying? That's, that's going ahead? Yes, so yeah, there is... A, um, mm. Well, let me just read what I've got here. Go for it. Um, so I'll get back to that. Uh, because that's the end of it. Um, so yeah, something I want to do on a weekly basis mm-hmm. is uh, like a like a counter. So so last the last podcast. So every every two weeks at the end, we're going to see how well each individual podcast has done, almost like a chart. So that so two weeks ago we did a podcast and it got a massive 134 views. So that's what we got to beat for this one. I don't know how we're going to do it. Marketing, I don't know. Tell people that Baines is going to take his shirt off, something like that. Show him his third nipple. That'll get views, surely. We'll put that in the in the tag. In the, you know, <laughs> what's it called? Clickbait. Baines shows yeah, his third in, nipple. In the top, I thought you were going <laughs> to. I thought you were going to take your top off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, the dog just ran off. So it? let's see if we can break that. So we've got 134 to beat. So when we yep. film the next one, hopefully in two weeks, we're yep. going to see if we can beat 134. I'm going to be more prepared. And also, huh? I'll be more prepared next time without having just walked in. Yeah, we will. Yeah, we'll get there. This is, so it can only get better, surely, after that poem. Um, also, Go. depending on how quick Baines edits and uploads this, the next vid due to pop up. On the Lay and Play YouTube channel is the final vid of the 1970 Impala build sequence mm. showing the finished car. So I'll do a, a, a video, but it won't be, it'll just be like uh, the final few finishing touches looking at the car. But then on top of that, I believe Baines is going to join me from Derby in the morning. Yes, sir. And this is going to sound all completely to shit now. If this was live, it'd work really well. But it's going to sound completely shit now because Baines, yeah, uh, this will hopefully drop before Baines drops. Uh, like Baines does professional spec, high end. All the videos that are good on the YouTube channel are Baines videos. So Baines is hopefully going to, yeah, he's got all fancy gimbals and shit. Um, he's going to come and film the Impala as well. We're going to do like a, um, the handover sequence. The car's going to be under cover i've been busy polishing it cleaning it clay barring it and all sorts of shit i'm gonna whip the cover off uh, the owner's gonna be there i believe with his missus they're gonna be hopefully it's a bit like uh, ex- exhibit uh pimp my ride <laughs> the <laughs> reveal is, video you know I mean? exactly <laughs> we put tvs in your tvs because we heard that you like tvs etc um so and then and then if all goes to plan again next weekend i believe we're all going to um doncaster to film rob's lincoln yes if you haven't forgot about that yeah saturday or sunday it's saturday be better for me if you can do it uh it hasn't got to be a long thing i'm taking my lincoln there for him to do some um to do some paint and pinstripe type stuff some um silver leafing and then while we're there Here's Lincoln. So the Resurrection series that came out around Christmas time, so the previous series, the final episode is that. So again, I'll do a shitty behind the scenes final look at the car and then Baines will bust out with a dope-ass video. So in the next couple of months, what you, you should get episode 10 of the 70 Impala build plus 
a dope feature length episode by Video Box Bane's dope, really good quality shit of that car. You'll get the final episode of Resurrection plus another Bane's feature, feature quality top end spec dope ass video of that car. And then this dog shit podcast that three people are doing. <laughs> Which we kind of throw, throw together as quick content. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so that's five That's five, uh, five videos planned. And then if like, if timing is an issue and we, we haven't got a video ready for, for a week, I want to start doing weekly videos. This last month, I think we put out 12 videos in the space of three weeks, Huge. which is too much. It's too much, but I got bored over Christmas, and it was it, it was easy for me <laughs> to make content. This is what we're capable yeah, of, yeah. though. When we, when we get to that certain level, because it's so hard to be consistent with content. So whilst we have got, we've both got full time jobs, which we do. Like Pete's got his job, I've got my full time work. So when we do get opportunity, we're just going to smash out as much content as we can, and hopefully, we set that precedent and carry it through. But you know, yeah, man, life I, gets in the way, doesn't it? So we do as much as we can. I think weekly stuff. I think if you can do. Um, a monthly good thing and then fortnightly <laughs> these sh- yeah. shit podcasts mm-hmm. if we've got the time to do it then I'll infill I can do loads of techie type stuff mm-hmm. anything that the people watching this want me to do a video on batteries wire wheel fitting anything wiring battery any of that kind of stuff I'm hoping I covered a lot of it in the Impala series that's 10 episodes long and there's a lot of detail it's They're not really covered in its entirety if, There's a lot you, of information in there. If you've come from zero and want to get an idea of what's involved in a full low rider build, watch that video because from start to finish, there's so many little nuggets of information in each video. There's just just watch it and then you'll get a good idea of what sort of level of work's required, what sort of kit you need, what sort of like tools. So you've done a good job there. Yeah, I mean it's, it's feasible that anybody, anybody who can turn a spanner could could do a lot of the work themselves it's it's like the advert on british tv in a minute like if you can fix a light bulb then you can fix uh, a light bulb. <laughs> yeah yeah if you can tie your shoelaces then you can build a low rider <laughs> love it <laughs> so i mean that sounded professional again Bane. so let's let's wind this back a little bit um and but yeah, I mean that, that's I mean that's everything. I think I think that's yeah. about. I'm hoping that's about 20 minutes worth of content. I um, think it's about that. We'd like to thank everybody who watches this. If you watch it, please subscribe because I believe it or not, check the subscriber levels about three or four times a day. It's fucking yeah. massive for me. I spoke to a guy who runs a paint shop today. Um, what's it? I can't remember uh, the name of his Tony. business, but he's gonna. Tony, yeah. What's the name of his business, Baines? Uh, refinishing. Tony's refinishing. Tony's is Tony's refinishing on YouTube. So make sure you go and see his page. It's really good quality content. Gets so a lot what, of views. What was the idea with that? Is he going to do a bit of a collaboration or? or... Well, I had a, I had an accident on this Impala at some point, and I managed to scratch the rear valance. I don't know how I've done it, but I've sent the valance to Tony to, mm-hmm. to repaint that valance. Um, and when I've been to pick him up, I pick it up, I spoke to him about the YouTube channel. He was like, all oh, right, I'll give you a shout out. So, <laughs> so while, so while the cars, uh, sorry, he's done a video on repairing that panel. And when he puts it on the YouTube channel next week, he's going to give the lay and play channel a shout out. Which nice. Is good. Like it. Good lad. Thanks, Tony. So yeah. Thanks, Tony. Yeah. Legend. In kind of summary, wrapping up, if there's anyone who wants to come on, we're accepting sort of applications for people to come on, join us, just chat, shit, drink beer, and talk general low riders and news and stuff. We'll throw some questions at you and then make it into one of these which you're watching now. So please just get us a DM. (laughs) <laughs> pointy please just send us a dm or message or any stories you've got we'll read them out just a bit of content bit yeah. of fun no sort of like bullshit we'll just read it out so yeah get in touch i didn't die i don't know what i did <laughs> i didn't know how to stop it <laughs> extra dramatic though love it <laughs> It's all gone a bit wild, Baines.
Your dog's just run off with something else now, so I'm expecting like an absolute plethora of just shit on the floor downstairs. Well, that's it now. We can, we, we can wind this up, and I'll see you in the morning, Baines. I'll be there. What time? He says he's going to be at 5 a.m.